The Flash is a student form for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the ECU community. Stay tuned. Hey, ECU! I'm Seb. And I'm Landon. And welcome back to The Flash. Today, because of our shortened day, we are going to be having a shortened episode. Ah, uh, MCA is my right. I hear you, Seb. Uh, our first and only episode today is going to be looking over Music Mania, where some of the language classrooms come across and connect through music. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The Flash! Flash. Hey Seb, did you take any of the language classes? Well, yes, yes I did. For three years I took Spanish, or Espanol as they say. <laughs> That's funny. Did you um, ever participate in Music Mania? Oh yeah, I remember uh, we would have these uh, March Madness music brackets in Spanish class uh, every year I took it. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Brandon has the story. I'm here by the language classrooms where every year they have a national and sometimes international music competition where they get to connect more with the cultures that they're studying about. I saw how much of a community it brought. I, I realized that students, no matter which teacher they had, they were able to talk about this song and have it in common and talk about why do they want it to win and be able to immerse themselves in that experience, which I thought was really fun. So the fact that the entire Spanish department and actually other language departments do it, it creates a talking piece. This music competition is meant to help students learn more about the cultures that they're studying but it also impacts their lives through the music that they listen to outside of school. It was last, last year, it was like a, I forgot what it was called, Mi Corazón. It was like a really good song. It was like a TikTok song too, but it was really catchy. Teachers and students alike agree that Music Mania improves performance in class by giving students something fun and non-stressful to look forward to during class. I really like it. I think it's nice to have something in class to focus on that's not like your traditional coursework. So like every March, it's nice to have, you know, just something else going on that you can, it's just like for fun. Um, I think it has a, has a positive impact on the culture of the class with them talking with, e with each other, connecting. Signing off for The Flash with the help of Chase, this is Brandon. Well, that was a pretty good story. Brandon, what the heck are you doing? What? Hmm? What's that? What the, what the heck are you doing? Oh, are we still rolling? Oh yeah, we're, we're going right now. Why are you listening to music live on air? I'm sorry, that's awkward. But uh, I know some people who are even more awkward than I am. Huh, who? Stay tuned for the credits. Hey guys, I'm Stoyan, and this is Junior. And today, we'll be seeing how people react to our strange conversations. Let's go. Bro, oh, you, you know my mom came in last night when I was like playing Fortnite, right? Like, she was like, Junior, you've been playing Fortnite for 12 hours straight now. You need to go take a shower now. It's Dude, been three weeks. that's so ridiculous. And I was like, Mom, you know I don't take showers. Like, I like keeping my aroma. So, like, I'm telling you, bro. My econ teacher gave us a take-home quiz. I cheated on dude, that. Dude, I cheated on that so bro, bad, dude. But the guy that gave me the answers, dude, I think he wasn't, like, listening, though. Because they were, like, all No, low-key, low-key, I, I got these answers. They were so bad. I don't even know if this guy was even in the same class as me. Like, <laughs> Yeah, at least you answered the questions. He left number one blank. I heard this, I heard, I heard this great joke oh, the other day. You okay. Did, you did? <clears throat> why did the chicken cross the road? Oh, oh why, why, bro? Wait, 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 Alright, hi. So, um, recently there's this problem I've been having. It's that, like, I've been blowing my entire paycheck into betting, and I think it's, like, not good for me. I would agree. That's not good for you. I also kind of blew my, I kind of blew my college fund in there, too. Do you think, am I going to college? You're probably not going to college. 